tweet enemy win or hashtag dig win, and we'll check in throughout the game to see how you're calling it. Surge where they were beating top teams. Yeah. And that was with some of the changes, too, they saw throughout the entire season. A lot of these teams find a nope. sub, and a sub game. hurts a little too much to keep things going. And Hawks, he gets the gravity field down, but he gets locked back as well. Good full team roam, pretty much, coming from Dignitas towards the mid lane to start things off. He's not feeling the pressure just yet. He's even in CS trashy, though. Helios, is he even looking? Oh, he gets the phase dive in. Timewinder oh. goes out. Flares gets exploded by the initial damage. They trade one for one. Gamsu's is going to be locking down Trashy. Maybe able to get the ult in, but doesn't actually want it. Well, some more gold going That's over a good to point. Dignitas. Good point, Zarya. Overall, just off that play. But Trashy wants more. Gamsu's no mana. No mana. Should be able to see that, but good call. No mana, no flag and drag. Trashy stays for the kill. And he was setting that up for a few seconds there. I'm still trying to set up plays and wards for the team to keep Inox safe. Flares goes hard, gets the stun down, but he also gets stuck in. His dash gonna come up soon. He's able to get out of whoa, Cataclysm, whoa, 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 but he cannot fight Gamsu right now. He had Flash still. He's being super conservative, conservative about using his summoners. But this is just time to really set it up. They're gonna light the barbecue here. Comes gear. Shifter. If it hits, that's the go sign. Oh! Not gonna be able to do much body yep. trap, but he gets caught in. Gamsu actually breaks the Cataclysm quick so everybody can get to their target. A nice lantern out, and they choose correctly to get out of there with body drop. Looks like it's gonna be a stacking game for Shifter's Ezreal in the mid lane this time. They're 15 They're minutes in. Him. And he is yet to stack it as he just bought it. Flares gets taken down the moment he is up. It seems like he's very close for a while. Like I said, it keeps ballooning. Especially that, that and there's the there's the TP to the ward. That kill to come back. Still has ulti. Oh, oh my oh, word! Slammed. That's the Tiamat coming in. Big damage. Gamsu's coming up big on the Jarvan once again. They're taking consideration of everything. Flares once again. Even though you're with the team, if you're oh. the caboose, the caboose still is not safe. You gotta be careful. Unfortunate there, he was just following Trashy, but Dig's still all over him. Dig is kicking the puppy right now. <laughs> That's just a gold bag in the top, and they just keep re revisiting it. Trashy's gonna go aggressive here. Don't know if they can actually get away with this. We'll see. Flash not up for Kiwi Kid here. He's gonna go down. Helios able to get out with Shifter. And Chaos Storm not doing too much as there's... He was playing oh, crazy man. in the beginning. Just looking at the back at some of the stats. 11-0-10, that hacker game versus Impulse in week four. His NAR oh. games where he set up Shifter for the pentakill. Body drop getting caught out now. What Would you ever think that they're just chilling there when nobody's pushing the top lane? Here, it means pink wards and more forward wards that are helping them. Trashy looking to get himself something. And the team an assist here. That's going to be the depth charge that keeps Helios in place. Diggs looking to ping Baron on this. A lot of focus down to the bot side of the map, and they are on the worm. Bold call there, but nobody's going to be able to stop this. They don't even have globals available. The pings come out. Maybe it's happening, and it's gone already. 22-minute Baron for Dignitas. Second time they tunnel on to just But Inox, is, he still has to check it. They don't have vision. On the wrong side of the map, too. What a dangerous path to walk through. That actually makes me happy. That's really cool. But oh, body, body drop. Oh. Not going to be too happy. He did get the anchor toss oh, over Gansu. the wall. That means he get a bit, bit of cooldown. He might be able to use it once again towards the Raptor pit or get himself towards red. Raptor pit grab. It's going to be Precy. EQ. And oh, he just gets EQ. the rip tied out. Timewinder is going to slow everybody down, but they speed it back up. Body drop still goes down, and they are going to get another kill. Like I said, once Dignitas sees somebody, be on point with getting where the team's oh, going to be Ox, fighting. Oh, Not on point. Out of position? No. Oh, oh deleted. Down, Trashy goes in, thinking the team has a bit of an advantage here with the turret to fight on. A box for the re-engage completely shuts out enemy. And Shifter in a bad spot. Wind slash kill does not go over to Flares, though. He only gets an assist on that. It goes over to Trashy, the guy who already has four kills. Unfortunately, oh, there. The Flares play. flash in. He gets the stun down, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. Here's the TP from Gamsu. I wouldn't put it past him that he's going to fly gonna flash, through the though. turret, and he gets a crush down right onto Flares. That turret wasn't even there for him. So much free time for one member or another, especially even the AD carry to be here by himself. They have a bit of a defensive wall and champions on the way there, but he is just having a field day oh, with turrets. Flares. Helios and Flares going 1v1, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but Gamsu feels like he wants to jump in. Drops the Cataclysm right away. Price Seeker gets him.
up at 27 minutes. The top lane could have been a big what if for this yeah. game. Oh, poor JJ out of position though. They got walk straight up to him to get the passive shot on. Very well played by Body Drop. More opportunities to get into the fights they want. They see Dom each other. Su. Let's see how quick this is. There's the Yo moves. That's this. the hit. Hydras go off on both sides. Wow. Flashes right out. For a second, I couldn't tell if he was going to nice. be able to fight for Dignitas to follow through on. Maybe the hook. It does get body drop. They actually dodge out of the gravity field. Nice moves by Helios and Kiwi Kid to not fully walk right yeah, into that. No, the minion wave is all they need. A few more shots, and one's going to get it. The minion should be able to it take knocks. it down. The fight's going to happen, though. Enemy don't have a turret to run under anymore. They left it as soon as it died, and Dignitas takes that into consideration. Still moving through with Otter. the minions. Otter uses the heal, didn't have his spell shield up from just using it. Quite a long cooldown, and they take advantage of it. Dignitas, they're going to end the game at 31 minutes. If they were looking for their playoff mojo, they might be getting it here. They have this Banner of Commanded Minion up, and it's got Baron buff. Enemy was able to take the previous game to 57 minutes. Not today, though. Dignitas was able to find a spot in the armor to just dive right in, get to get under the skin of Enemy, and take them down. Dignitas in 31-26 takes down Enemy. Dignitas lock in lock into sixth place. Yep. If you are going to end this day in third place, I'd be scared. Everybody leave. They do in scrims. <laughs> the teams have locked in their champs and we're about to hit the rip, so start sharing your votes. Send hashtag CLG, CLG win or hashtag T8 win to at LOL Esports. We'll tally those up as we get into game. Uh, I said good day. Wow. Got a toboggan himself right out. Oh, oh my man. word, what is happening in the top oh, lane? No way! Man. Holy moly! Woo! Gets the flash level one. That is a huge power point. He's still going though. He's got ghost. He's gonna oh, keep going. Oh sweet. He's gonna keep going. Sassy Molassi. Oh my god! First blood a man 13 completely soloed out. I I I can't even. This kills the rumble. He's stalling them because Double Lift is clearing waves top with his ultimate and making sure that he can get this turret. This turret's going down though. What's going to happen here? I don't see very many ultimates and no level six is actually on the bottom side of the map. Not really enough. To this is a big plan. Right. Swap him into the lane. Push the turret quickly. TP coming from behind. They know Kali doesn't have his. He has his flash now and he doesn't even have an equalizer yet. Oh, very far up. Still goes for the flash knowing you're going down. Failing an attempt for the kill, but could have saved the summoner spell for sure on that one. To disengage from CLG as well on just Dodo going in is super simple. It's the Howling Hill or a cask if he's not there. Nice little steal, but is he going to pay for it? Yes, he is. Oh, wow. The ability to collapse right there. Oh. Huge. And it goes over to Zion. Oh. Nice equalizer, but it's only for disengage at this point. That's They're the trying to chase down. They need to be able to follow up on. There's every kill on the team. Going to be a shutdown now if they can get it. Dodges out. Zion Spartan Hextricker comes up. He throws on the Ragnarok. He starts going crazy. Golden Blue is able to cap off Pole Belter. Zion's fighting. Tries to get the shots in to get the lifesteal, but cannot do it. And it looks like they're going to trade two for two here with a minion wave coming in in favor. AoE slows, so you put the burden of engage on teammate. Yep. But well, right here, they're actually going to take it in their own hands. Zanya's is there. Where's the play? Maybe not oh. be able to use it. Gets it at the end. Can he get the Storm Shield to stay alive? What a oh. shot. Time by Nian. He flashes out, fires one back over his shoulder. The barrel's going to take down Alistar. Dodo's on the ground. They pick up Porpoise. It's a three for one as they start flying That's by the turrets. Zion Spartan doesn't care. He is going to get out of this one. Slowed from the harpoon. That will take him down. Bit of a surge in gold. Teammate felt good. They had just taken down mid turret during that replay and wanted to stay, but they have nothing to stay for. Counter Logic Gaming able to close in here and just cordon off teammate as they try to escape, pushing Golden Glue and Dodo to one side. No chase there. Maybe actually gets in the gauntlet, goes down. Unbreakable will coming in for oh. Dodo. Double it flashes over the wall. Double it picks up two more. One of those goes over to Afro Moves. Rush Hour comes up. The teamwork is big. Get the world over the wall. Oh, Porpus did not want that. Oh! Got him. Hooked that, it over. Very nice shot there, predicting the speed. to get some help. That's one of your break. Your oh, 2v1. Speaking of 2v1. What? So Again. That's Zion running through. You can see the Elixir of Wrath still on him, helping him be a beast. That's going to be extended on kills and assists, so that's just going to keep going for him. Another, Another extension on the kill assist. It's going to be a kill. 
And Zion Spartan's Elixir of Wrath is definitely raining down terror on the rest of the team's double lift hitting all the skill shots that he needs. Kelly trolls in the eyes of the team, surfed up a triple kill overall for Zion Spartan. And he is just coming up huge right now. 10, 3, and 2. The Olaf pick comes through again. He didn't even really get any bands focused towards him. Teammate thought they could just keep him down. And CLG, they've never finished higher than third place in the regular split. They're about to put themselves in a position where they play tiebreaker for first place at the end of the day. It's going to be big. A lot happened at the end of the split to pit four teams against each other at first place. One of the tightest races we've ever had. And Counter Logic Gaming is going to put their foot down and be the first team to move up and be in that tiebreaker. Right now, they are taking down Team 8. Possibly. Looks like we're going to have to back off here. Smithy got very, very low. The Zanyas goes out. Is it the finalizing kill? They were waiting for the opening. The end, very low. No home guards on him. It looks like the Nexus is open. Belter comes in, but it's just going to be a regular card dealt out to Porpoise. And that is finally the Nexus. It took them to re-engage once again, Zyrene, to get back in and win the fight. Counter Logic Gaming take down Team 8. American LCS, he has his second time on it. Devour is going to be fun. But guys at home, hit us up on Twitter. Let us know who you think is going to come out on top with this game. Tweet at Elevel Esports. Send your vote with either hashtag TSM win or hashtag C9 win. We'll count that up throughout the game and let you know what you guys are thinking because we're just that kind. Anyone top here for TSM. So TSM are setting up for a four versus three tower dive. That's really dangerous. But they've been able to cut off balls who oh, flashes he got in. Stunned, top for barely flashed onto it. Oh no, first blood for Santorin and Lemon and High have nowhere to go here. Last second of the recall. He's gonna, oh this is so bad for Dyrus. He does not have flash, he can't get away from the tether. So much Saves damage coming through. Taunt. Didn't go for the rocket jump damage. But the ulti's gonna knock him down. Nicely done by Sneaky, the kill on a Dyrus didn't see it coming. The patience there of Cloud9. And Oh, oh, the flash engaged. They really want this one. Shelty popped as well. They really want this fight to work out here. C9 trying to cut away, but Elimination goes down. There. All right, and they actually move their people on down. Teleport is up for Vault, leaving with the team. Flash engage oh, comes in. Incarnation cleanses out, but down goes Sneaky right away. Incarnation puts the shield in high to the back line. Great flash by Wild Turtle, so high goes down. An easy pickup for the squishy jungler here. A double kill for Bjergsen. Shockwave finds Lust Boy. A Naralty kills back on the enemy support, but. Balls has to now run. Shields are on oh, with the gravity the field. We'll catch him in and C9 just on the way out. A two for one in favor of TSM. True to his name, it looks like he's gonna get out. High going for that solo mission. Dyrus wants to get to a wall. Well, he's gonna be able to jump away and High cannot follow with the ulti on cool. That shockwave, oh, Lust Boy oversteps his bounds and a kill comes back. C9 feeling good about this one. Balls is tanky. He wants it on Bjergsen, gets stunned by the gravity field. Does not land the boomerang. So High is still on the run, landing the skill shots here because of the lack of mobility and hard CC. But he's punching positioning. And now he's going to go after Turtle. Oh, Sneaky Shelty's brings the slow. on way too much damage. Goodbye. There's a transformation as well. TSM knows uh, C9 killed a ward on the way over, but a 4,000 health Baron Nasher. Here comes Lust Boy. Massive stun, but there's no follow-up yet from Bjergsen. No ult, no E. In comes the push. Baron Nasher is slain, and the Balls ult is going to find Bjergsen and Lust Boy. Oh but the burst comes back through. Still not enough incarnation with two kills in the Shockwave. Sneaky on the chase to keep the season's hopes alive. It's going to be a big one. There's the fourth kill of the fight while Turtle walks up the explosive charge. That it's an ace! Cloud9 firing! And with the Baron buff, they're gonna be able to get turrets after it as well. Some straight up mid lane. What's he gonna push though, except for the wave? And he they can't really threaten Nexus turrets here. Try and force a four on five here, well, real quick. Careful, Dyrus lands the flash taunt. No, doesn't hit a single person. The ulti from Santorin only disengages the few. Shockwave catch is lost, boy. That's a kill, a rampage. Four in a row for Sneaky. In comes High. Double kill as Yerkson goes down. Shivana Tanky enough. Challenging Wild Turtle. Another kill for Sneaky. His third of the fight. Going for the Quadra. Is he going to get it? Nope. A kill for High. This could be the game winning push. Cloud9 are going to get the tie for seventh place. The dream of heading to Worlds is alive. Great upset win. And just like we began the split. Cloud9 beats TSM. Is, of course, about to get underway. Send us hashtag GV win or hashtag TDK win. We will update the fan vote shortly. Gravity playing for the chance of that first round by TDK, their farewell game of the North American LCS.
Yesterday they took down Cloud9. Maybe they can end their season on a two-game winning streak. Ooh, interesting. First buy there from Ninja is the bursty option. Going for the Sheen first to have kill pressure. Hanser, oh, though. Hanser, a bit overextended. And keep in mind, Emperor has a whole bunch of adoration to cash in. Hanser walks through a ward. Cocoon's going to land. Do they have the burst? There's the hook. Can they give Draven the kill? Oh! They're going to try. And they let him get it. Plus 352. Adoration secured. 2,800 golden inventory. Yeah. Bit of damage coming through. Top lane. Meanwhile, Altec. 1v2. I assume he got flighted into exhaust. That was just enough damage. Summoner heal, ulti, and flash. Not enough to get out. Some the wings. Here comes the teleport. They've got to back away. Emperor grabs the lantern. No ulti for move. Here's the re-engage. Gravity want this one. Ulti across from Draven. 1,500 health on the dragon. Kez wants in. They stun up move. They're going to kill him off. Ninja gets the kill. Keen goes for Emperor, but can't do enough damage. Shen ulti's on. In comes Hanser. Oh, they got they get the kill, and Keen gets another. This fight's actually going pretty solid. Trading back and forth, a two for two. Ninja's still in the wings. No junglers alive. No smites available. Seraph going to chase. Keen's going to run. Seraph doesn't have a ton of mana, and rank one ult has got a pretty long cooldown. He's taking a long he road here. On, so he gets slow Keen. There's the hook. He gets him. Ninja gets the reset. He's got to get them both. Four kills in a row for Ninja. Their approach. That dragon number three steal is actually a yeah. huge deal, though. Oh! Once again, oh, oh. Elise into Thresh. He dodges it all again. <laughs> Gravity try to stop the Elise Lantern. With several ultimate down, that's actually really big. And TDK want to re-engage. Dragon's holds down too. Here comes the push and in. Move it half. A nice tall oh, back line. They found Emperor. He's got a flash away. Equalizer on top. There's the hot pot. And it looks like TDK is hungry, though. They go in on this one. Two kills picked up already. A third now, Ninja. Gets rid of the spell shield maybe a bit early, but Altec's still running for his life. Yep, they missed the combo. Emperor got his flash back up in time to be able to escape that. Gravity really struggling in the end of the season. Here goes oh, Move, though, and he's got That Emperor. was perfect by Move. The turret goes down, but who even cares who's on the map? Okay, because they yeah. run these assassin heavy yeah. cops. Smoothie oh. goes in for the play on Altec, though. Flash play on two. Box gets spell shield. Altec running and running away from Ninja. Spell shield's down. Slow lands. Seraph gets the kill. 2-0-6 oh, on this Cassidy. And now Ninja jumps up, but is barely tanky on Aurelia. Jumps to Hauntzer. Stuns him. Keen on the chase. Can't play with the damage yet. Finally knocks him down, but still a couple of trades as Elise knocks down Shen. There's a kill in from Thrash, and the Seraph battle still goes on. Though. Seraph really cannot go down. Athena's at Holy Grail giving him infinite mana. Rift walks for days. Wins the fight. Yeah. Killer assist will give you a ton of mana, but here comes the chase in towards Seraph. Dodges the taunt. Puts the slow in. Riftlock is in, but there's a the knockout. Riftlock knockout for another second. Goes down Field. a crit. Are you talking about Kez? Kez, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. that's for sure going to be. Jumping into Altec. Gets the shields. Tries to run away. Exhaust is on him. Elise will not go down just yet. Hook on the move. Seraph still trying to make this fight happen. And there's going to Aurelia in the back line. Jumps in. Goodbye. The double assassins delete the AD carry. Hook doesn't quite land. Bunny Foo Foo just overlooks it. Off for him. Now they're going to be able to get the inhibitor turret pretty easily here. Move goes in by himself. Big knock in. They're going to look for Emperor. Keen tries, but he gets hooked out by Smoothie, the savior of his back line. A pickup for Draven. The dive on in. Ninja forces the Zonias. He wants Hauntzer. Seraph gets it. Seraph gets another. Double kills across the board here. And this could be the game-winning push. Team Dragon Knights ending Gravity's hope for a playoff by. How's that for playing spoiler in the last week? TDK end their season with three wins and a 2-0 final week. Seraph also gets the end with the Flash Zonia statue play for himself. And will be remembered. When he's like, I'm coming for you, bud. Well, good luck then to Phoenix in this one. You guys know the deal, of course. We want your game prediction for this match. Tweet at a little esports with hashtag TLWIN or hashtag TIPWIN. Let us know who's going to take this one home. We have a stun ready. Couldn't tell on the bush. I think he uh -oh. does. Uh -oh. Yes, he does. Uh -oh. Ward hops away, flashes, but still going to land the body slam. In comes Phoenix, gets the first blood. Rush did not see it coming. Not the impact, okay. decent damage, good spell shield. In comes Dominate, circling around back, but Rush smells blood in the water as well. Dominate sees him, walks right out. Rush gets body slammed up. Actually, severe damage. Forced to ward hop away. He's going to get a special. Perfect flash and a great explosive cast. Impact. 
cannot finalize the kill. TP comes in from everybody else. Rush Force run away, but here comes Phoenix. That's his first kill, second kill of the game. Also one onto a, uh, Adrian Impact, the third casualty of the fight. 4-0. Piglet will go down. Finally, Gate finds something. Oh, the twist This is it's the laser, dodges. and in comes the knockups. Beautifully played by Team Liquid. 5-1 in this game and the turret. A couple of deep wards into the jungle. Dominate also has a sight stone. Rush as well. Waiting in the wings. Goes in, knocks him around, but where's the teammates at? He's getting jumped on. Gate tries to show they do stun and they do pick up the kill. Nice movements there by Impulse. He's stealing the blue buff away and says, hey guys, Rush is nowhere to be seen. This is just going to be ours. And Impact also has to be a bit careful. No turret, and he's alone here. Uh -oh. 1v2. Phoenix is headed down as well. Impact has is. Flash. Body slam first and explosive cast. No, explosive cast first. Impact doesn't flash it. Nowhere to go. Kill picked up by Quas. And Rush spent all that time top lane for nothing. Teleport up top. They're going to make a dive here. Here comes the attempt. Then dominates up. Especially going to land this time. Oh, he only gets Rush, but goodbye to the Lee Sin. Nice knockback by Adrian. Buys some time, but Phoenix is here. The knockback into the wall. They've got nowhere to go. A quick three kills picked up with that one. Gate can't do enough on the return. 11. Nar here. The mid lane under fire, down to one third health, just getting crushed out. Piglet shows up, ulti to buy some time, but Gate will not do enough damage to matter. Apollo on the chase, wants to kill Phoenix, slowed down by a barrel, explosive cast by his Whoa. time impact. Knocked in, forced to flash out, Quas the front line, re-engage, comes across, three big kills picked up off the Maokai ulti, a kickback by Rush, turns one around, but he's got no friends left around. Another kill picked up off the Maokai, and Apollo's gone. <laughs> Take some damage from Baron there, and everybody gets out. One hit on Phoenix, one hit. Whoa, oh, here comes the TP flank. Gates caught out. Gates going down. Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. Baron attempted. This is maybe the comeback attempt for Impulse. They don't take much damage on Baron, but maybe Rush gets the steal. Dominate ult's going to come in in a second. No, they disengage it. They send people around the wall. Adrian buys a bit of time. Phoenix to do some damage. Won't get the knockback here. They go in and a special. A special goes down. A great bait by Gate. And here comes the push on in. Into the back line goes Phoenix. A flash away from Gate. And he's still alive here. Quas taking up the front line. Roots Apollo. This cog was in a bad spot. Pushed back by the Emperor's Divide. Impact, though, inside the team. Lands the Gnarlty, but not enough damage. There's the gold lead at work here. It's a two for one in favor of Team Liquid. They will catch off Apollo with a barrel. The slow is there. The slow from Phoenix. The kill comes through, a 3 for 1 off the Baron attempt. Unable to find anything, and it looks like it's going to close in on Team Impulse now. Last chance to fight, for the turret's already gone. Gate just gets exploded. 1 for nothing so far. Phoenix buys some time. Piglet still goes, goes down. down. A 1 for 1. A big gnarlty. Maybe the comeback fight happens. Multiple yeah. kills coming through for Impulse. Apollo's still alive. There's only tanks left. Lee Sin lands the cube, but Rush maybe doesn't want it. Now he's gonna keep going, dominate. Gonna fire back for some damage. A final kill comes through. That's an ace for Impulse. They're keeping the hope alive. An ace for one. Only Gate goes down and they can snag a dragon off the back of it. It's gonna be a bit dangerous. He can always jump over the wall and whatnot. Misses the Q, but Impact wants a great spell shield by Piglet. And Rush is gonna be taking so much damage. Still kills it special. Dominate time of the gravity field. Rush running oh, away, Quas. but he pulls in Quas. Kill goes to Piglet. A lot of damage to the back line though. The Chaos Storm churning on towards Quas and company. It's a one for one. In comes Phoenix. He doesn't yet go down. He finally trades his he life, but it's still a one for one. Impact taking up in the back lines. Still hasn't died, but Apollo's gone. Oh. Gate's still up somehow. Impact kiting away from Dominate. Oh my god! Another ace for Impulse! Phoenix went for the all-in play on Azir, and Gate was able to snipe him on the last auto attack there. Barely able to finish him off in. They got the teleport cooldown. That's pretty big for Team Liquid. They needed to equalize. Oh, he's gonna go in. He finds Rush. But Free Quas, DPS. Very alone. He gets soloed out. And that's gonna be Quas going down on a very poor choice of play. 4v5 now for a lot of time. Team Liquid forced to run. Impact from low. Specials Flash stun gets to the backliners, but the front line reconverges. The split's okay for the Baron doing damage, but it's fine. Impact in the back line. Phoenix goes down. Two more kills picked up. This is a great thing as Dominic's gonna go down. They're gonna do Impulse it. Impulse win another fight. They're third in a row. Baron's theirs. Impulse want that first round by. Baron of Powered Recalls, they won't lose anything for this either. And Team Liquid see basically nothing. Oh, Piglet sees Gate. They're looking for Gate. He's gonna run towards his team, but there's no one around. There's the flashes in. There's the stun. They got him. That's He's gone. Just what?
what we cautioned against. Team Liquid Seagate on the open, and they burn him down. Now, how many inhibitors can they take? How do you stop a dragon or a baron with three inhibitors down Apollo in your base? Apollo is in. He's got to be a bit careful. Gate's alive in one second. He's got home guard. Here he comes. Here's the push. Impulse, what can he do? Piglet's ulti is down for two more seconds. The knockup on a dominate Piglet. Dominic running away. Down. There's the kill picked up. It's a 5v4 back for Impulse. Piglet dodges the boomerang. He's on the run. Silver ulti lets his... Still defending quickly enough. Impact once again reaches Meganar. Big damage comes in. Oh, he's he got Phoenix. Phoenix. He puts him in. There's the fight. Phoenix goes down. 5v4. Here comes the battle. Quas locked up in the front line. And in comes Quas for Impact. Rush in the back lines as well. Zones out Piglet. It's a oh double kill for my. Impact. They're going to crush the Team Liquid line. But how much can Impulse even get? They're still stuck in their base. Nar, and he 4,500 health, 266 armor, Lee Sin. Piglet's not gonna kill Whoa, these guys. Whoa, is going for another play here. He's not gonna die much, though. Looks for the kick, finds it special, buys a bit of time. Here's Meganar. Here's the next attempt for impact, but Rush down to half, taking a lot of pain for this one. They stun up Dominate, though. Big damage in from Kogma, and that'll be the kill, but they're gonna answer back at a rush. Both junglers are dead, and the fight continues. The gravity, gravity field stuns up Quas. Impact takes a lot of damage for that one, though. All three in Hibs back up, nothing much to play for. But low main regen. TP home guard in for impact. He still wants more. He's going to find a special for a slow. Rush gets him too. Not going to go to the kick flash just yet. Rush nearly goes down. He's going to get found by Piglet, but stays alive. There goes Gate. He wants the AD carry. He's going to try to reach it. Phoenix puts up the turret. Piglet goes down. Phoenix is going to be next. Can they land the damage? Impact's He's going to run south. away. Impact is still trying. It's a 5v4, and the slow burn is coming through. Can't land the skills just yet, though. Minions push down the top lane inhibitor turret. There's actually minions winning the game. It's special goes down the gate. Impact away. still on the chase. Gate trying to run through Quas and Tom. There's kills all over the place. And three kills for Impulse. Will they trade it back? Gate goes down. Apollo's out of mana and out of health. He can't help Rush here. What's he sticking around for? And Rush gonna dies. Take him Apollo's going to go down. Here comes Impact on the way out to save the day. Quas wants in, but so does Impact. He's going to oh. fight Apollo. QSS now. He got him. The Azir turret hit him. Are you serious? Azir gets a kill posthumously, and it means a team goes down win. Free. The minions are still doing work as oh well. Oh my god. The base is under attack. <laughs> <laughs> it might get cleared by Quas, but it's going to be close. Dominic comes back in. He's got the wave clear. We got to wait for response, Kobe. It's we got to wait. Uh, <laughs> Italia, it depends on how much you win that team fight by. It's going down to minions. Oh, they no. get it. The minions. Oh no. That means so much map control now. Team Impulse. Impulse have to make a last-ditch effort here. Baron, or Dragon, no, oh, here they go, Team Impulse. Call the teleport down. Impact comes in. He's Mininar, no home guard. The Q on the Dominate slows him down a little bit. Dragon is up. Kogma kills this so fast. Everyone is max items. They're going to burn it down. Sivir's pushing mid. Piglet's running for the Sivir's pushing mid. Dragon 4 goes down, but he can end the game by himself. Can Phoenix they? comes up too. Impulse have to run. They have to run. They're going to stop cut out. The anti done. They're still going. Piglet's into the base. He wants to end it right here. The Koreans of Team Liquid are pushing in. There's the turret. They're on to the Nexus. This is going to be the game. Team Liquid tied for first place the North American LCS. I can't believe it, Freak. I've had back-to-back -back days of the longest games of the split. Back-to-back -back days of eight dragons taking no aspect. All right, tell us what you think and who is going to claim game seven, or claim seventh place, I should say. Tweet at LOL Esports and hashtag T8Win or hashtag C9Win for however you're feeling this one is going to go. We'll tally those up throughout the game. You see the comps. Getting a Shenton onto Dodo, heading, headbutting in. Be pretty good for them. That looks like it's only a back. I thought that was actually the TP coming in, but Cali Troll is just leaving his lane. Arrow hits Dodo. He's locked in place. A level three, but the Shen Taunt does finally come in. He's going to keep that one. Lemonation is there. Balls is now going to TP on the backside. Nian in a very bad spot. The twisted advance, the exhaust, and the takedown still. So they're getting way more than they thought they would come into this lane. And they may even capitalize on the Cali Trolls. Arcane Smash just misses. Now, and Cloud9 can also secure their spot in the split and have a chance at it. A back and forth. There's another one. Locks him down. The Winter's Bite. Beautiful Custom blows CC have already chain. equaled in. They're going to give that one to High now. Giving the kills over to everybody. Making sure that would yeah. easily be used by him. Like you said, the turrets are pretty healthy. You're seeing that right here. 
see how Cloud9 actually moves to this. They're very slow to react on this one as teammate just kind of pulled this one out of their hat. They're going to get a turret for it. That's true. Well, there's a teleport coming in from the Maokai now from way downtown, and this is going to be a long-term uh, flank engage. Oh, Cali Trolls gets taken. He's just lumbering through. I didn't think Balls was going to make it in time, but they do. Ooh. A nice shockwave stops it back. The arrow comes through to help out high. That's a wild growth onto the dragon. He is going to be big, and he's going to try to protect his team. The hits coming over from Golden Glue do drop high, and they are looking to finalize some of these kills. If that finally goes on to Dodo, Cali Trolls gets out by the skin of his teeth on this one. Really showing some respect to the Orin. I think High uh -huh. stole that, though. Golden Glue's out of mana, so teammate has to bail. Oh, Porpoise not in a good spot, has to use Explosive Cask. This is what they've been trying to avoid. There's the arrow coming in. Is Cali Trolls going to take it all the way? He has to. Gets taken down as well as the team could not help Porpoise get out of that situation. And you cannot give this window to a Sated Devour Blade of the Ruin King Shivana because this Baron... They're just going to go for Cali Trolls. Turret's not there. It's a blur. The goggles, they do nothing. Oh, Ooh. so close to Flash. That was the jump and Flash, though. Nian is stuck wherever he is placed, and that twisted advance is not going to let him go too much farther. Hi gets out of that one alive somehow. A few more hits to him can take down the dragon, but it is not controlled enough. Explosive cast comes in to break up the fight, but really just spills all over the ground for the homies. It's going to be more teammate members going down. Now three, maybe more. He said those last two picks did not provide too much damage oh, well. in Shen and Alistar, and they're not finalizing these kills. We saw High walked out. Even an auto attack could have taken him down. You can see they're taunting Porpoise into a fight here. Boss is like, fight me. Let's go. Porpoise knows it's ill-advised at this point, and nice headbutt for High on the backside, but that splits up the team a little bit, and he may be able to get to a target he wants to now. The explosive cast and the crowd control has been used. High is going to wait for this to wear off, probably fly over the wall and hit a priority target. He's still holding it. Cloud9 is not even using the majority of their ultimates to win this fight right now. They're just outright winning this fight with the lead that they have. Cali Troll's not going to make it far. He gets taken down high, finally ults towards the end, and that's going to be a golden glue. That's going to be the ace, and Cloud9 in the base. It's a minion wave that is close to an exposed inhibitor and a 5v0 ace. Riv, I feel like Cloud9 has seventh place. Looks like they've locked it 33 minutes in. A very fast Baron to start this game off, and Cloud9 came Came out strong. They did not lose anything in the tank, and it looks like they are going to be able to grab that seventh place in 32 minutes. Cloud Nine take down Team Eight. What a dominating performance! A throwback to the Cloud Nine of old to guarantee that they stay in the LCS for next split. Yep, we get these five v yep. five big fights. Tweet at LOL Esports with either hashtag TIP win or hashtag GV win. We'll tally up those votes once we are on the rip. And he did get a bit of help from Impact before the teleport. He has to pull it into the this brush. This could be a huge play here for Rush. He Who's gets scored in the beginning. The, the blue's going oh over to God. Rush. He may be able to finalize this kill. The kills, no, the flash is over. Rush jumps the wall. He misses, though, not expecting King. King jump. level two. He might be able to get his double bust back. They may not get anything, actually. And move goes down as Rush out thinks the starting Yep. and convert it to a kill if he wants to stay even a little bit relevant in this game. Well, there's the TF all. It's only going to be a short ways. The shield could come in if it goes on to Rush. That's the ultimate. It's going to save Rush. One last card is able to take him down, but Keen goes down for that and then another assist. The first one to TP. Haunter didn't even try in for that one. And at this point, Cassidy had a little bit of mana going in. That's going to be the Mega Nar. He times it nicely. Oh, no. Gets the kill, but the Twisted Advance was there. He hops out. Oh, the Siege Minion. Kaboom. Continue to make this and game the that much harder. Are you going to be alive soon, Keen? Ooh. I don't think so. Very close play to the mid. There wasn't enough follow from Gate or the oh, Wave. Yeah, no, that could be the kill they want to get. Finally starting to solidify a bit of cash money in their pockets. That needlessly large rod. Be a death cap for him already. He doesn't go straight to Azanias for safe play. Oh, the shockwave crushing down Haunter. Will Gravity be able to get out of this one? Move hits Rush, but Rush just able to claw right through the beast. Cat and mouse game. All the lanes to show where they were. He was happy to go in and continuously steal the blue buff. He gets hit. Can he get over the wall? Actually, there's the flash. Winter's bite comes across. Concussive blows are able to lock him down. And it looks like they managed to lose Gate here, too. Flash, flash is up for him, so yeah, that'll be good. Crazy. 
Oh, the TP in. That's good for Hanser. He's going to be right in the middle, but Hanser actually gets locked down. His teleport is stopped by Adrian in the bot lane, and that is not going to help out Gravity. Bunny Foo Foo getting chased out now. A good dodge on the boomerang, and actually gets dissonanced against the wall. There's still a turret there. They got to be careful on this one. Keen with Rush on his backside. Nobody's entering this fight without a fight already happening that they're bringing in. What an amazing game. Keen now to start fighting this one out. The gold card when he needs it. Oh, but the clock tower coming in from Impact to shut that one down. Impact huffing the clock tower over his shoulder. This is going to give the team time to coordinate. A shockwave onto Keen. Rush looks like he could go down the wait a minute. Okay. The exhaust <laughs> went out. Rush got a bit of a heal in, so he stayed alive. But the command move, the command protect, and the command shutdowns coming in right now. A double kill over on the side of Gate. This seems a little <laughs> scary. Like ships in the night. They just snuck past each other, and now they're trying to kill each other's turrets. Impact. That's oh. five people, buddy. Empowered. They are going to try to get over the wall. Now can the whole Mega? team can get over the wall. So here's Mega so close, he's going to actually stay alive. Hex Trinker comes out. They dive the wall without the rest of the team being able to gap close in that situation. He's going to stay alive here. The rest of the team is pushing the bottom inhibitor turret. So they're keeping Gravity here to stop the backs. Hauntzer eventually goes down. What a situation for Gravity. Oh, no. And now Mini Nar, the ultimate harassment tool to yep. try and delay these recalls. If they stop this for long enough, they could win the game. You have to be kidding me. Adrian actually has the potential to keep going. It's an empowered bowl on one side. They have a few minions to keep going through this. Not a whole lot of attack speed just yet onto Apollo. Enough to help take down turret number one with that triforce being finished. Team Impulse has such a big lead in the fact they've already cracked the inhibitor wall. Whoa! Oreo just one-shot somebody. Exploded down. Totally wish we could get the damage chart on that puppy. Walls right now with 200 damage crits. That's not what you want to be tearing through the enemy. Move goes in. Not empowered on that one. Gets the spell out from the roar. Does get empowered, but Bunny Fufu's baited into the fight. Everybody on to move. The attacks from Impact come in, and he makes a big one. Taking down move. Bunny Fufu's down as well, and they're going to have this inhibitor quite soon. If they can... And here we go. Another sub 30 minute game for a tiebreaker, possibly, as Impulse now on the last Nexus turret of Gravity thwarting them. Gravity seems to still be having troubles in the struggling TDK game. The shockwave only hitting Bunny Fufu, but able to take out a lot of peel that Gravity needs for this fight. Gate keeping himself very safe on the backside there. Face of the mountain to keep him even safer with a shield. They are on to Alltech, but they're also on to the Nexus turret. Dropping that down. Able to open up the Nexus now. Impulse in the third place game is going to take victory over Gravity. See what happens. Tell us who you think is going to claim the top spot. Tweet at LOLE Sports with the hashtag TLWIN or hashtag CLGWIN. We've had two very fast tiebreakers so very far. Fast. Ooh, real ships in the night. Uh-oh. Hey. They turned on the, the searchlight. <laughs> See each other. Blue buff yeah, is Italy, on to very Italy. strong for yeah. three levels. I was going to say, that's scary for Xmithy to still be walking around that situation, but he knows the fight may happen on the top side. A nice play from Pit or from Special to keep everybody in. Piglet could get the reset there. Isn't able to use it enough to take down double if you saw him walking away slow. So he did rend once again, just not enough. Not yet. We'll see if he can turn that in. All of the gold difference could actually be explained with the gold differential from the junglers. Just the power farm from Italy versus not Nautilus being able to do that. Ooh, Quas actually One more spear and he's escape dead. there. Or maybe even not even a spear. Got him. Jump the waters gets out. Separates that from Dominic. Wow. Nicely done. Flying together very well here. Also hitting. Oh, some. here's the teleport play on the down middle turret. Mid lane. Dominate. The depth charge finally hits. Was waiting for the follow-up. CLG took quite a bit of time to get here. But Double Lift's ultimate, that Sivir pickup, allows them to get in the right spot at the right time and roll over two members. Phoenix and Special go down. Prepped. They might have that disengage to just get through it. Gold card on the lantern, though. Dominates the focus here to provide heal and give out the Smithy's DPS. Down. Smithy goes down very hard. The team just can't follow. Teleport from Zion is already behind the team, though. Piglet and Dominate just figured that out. They're going to call it in. This makes a Ooh. bad situation for Team Liquid. Piglet gets hit with the ulti. Not a lot of AP, though, from Zion Spartan, so it doesn't cancel him out. CLG is trying to figure out where to go in this fight. A nice gold card from Pole Belter. And they are able to finalize another kill. Top and bottom fall. A double kill coming in now. Piglet surely going to go down here. Another gold card for Pole Belter. And they just start cleaning up Team Liquid down the mid lane. Also want to hear Team Liquid's comms during that because there were two pings. Once in the river, 
when Zion entered the jungle, and once at the second tier. Here turret. comes another fight. CLG is not relenting, Riv. Twisted Fate ultimate up. Fizz teleport. Here we go. I wouldn't stop either with that kind of lead. Chum the Waters misses. Maybe a false sense oh, maybe security you should stop. for Liquid. Pole Belter a little too close to the fight. The Zanya's not even used in that situation because he gets locked up. Team Liquid find a fight that they want. Double it very low here. Phoenix gonna flash forward. One last attack. He does find the range. That's gonna be a shutdown on a double lift. Now it's Smithy goes down. Way to turn the tides of the fight, Team Liquid. With the rest of the team here. Counterlogic Gaming usually does not look good if they haven't gotten Quas themselves TP, a lead guard. by Biff at this point in the game. Zion doesn't have TP either. CLG is in trouble. Quas in a very good spot. He may get hit by Aphromoo here to slow him down, but Aphromoo can only do so much. Quas hits up Xmithy. Xmithy goes up. Xmithy goes back down again. He pretty much just came back off the fountain a few minutes ago. And this is going to be troublesome. More map coverage for Team Liquid. 20 seconds on Dragon. And how do they split Counter-Logic Gaming here? Yeah, they don't have to wait for Baron to spawn, though. That happened five and a half minutes ago. Yes, they have did. a 4v5, and the spite on the enemy team smite is dead. and Ren. CLG can do anyways. will feel very compelled to fight this one. Team Liquid will have to take the battle as well. Here we go. Hook goes across. The gold card's on Pole Belter. It's going to wear off, but they use it on a special. Chum the waters. Fate's call. Everybody's all right, it seems. Special back in, waiting for the hook to come back up. It's not up That's just yet. He did hit a target. He misses the outside. Liquid's actually missing a lot of the priority skills they need to hit here, but bump into it. A monsoon coming in from Afro Mu. Double lift low on the backside. Cannot provide DPS. And Liquid is just finding the right targets, even while CLG is disengaging. In order to get the pick on X Smithy, they need to yeah. use the home grab teleport to begin with, and they haven't properly swept this out all the way. Maybe they can burst it down regardless, though, because CLG is, tra is caught shopping. Now they have the Pancake Smithy back in base. Teleport from Zion. It's going to be a Playful and Trickster out, but he gets trapped in that one. Earth not even going to do that much damage from Chum the Waters. And again, another 5v4, this time pulled there by the beat of CLG's drum. Zion's a little far off here. They're going to go and engage on this without having Zion spar. And Pobalter feels like he can get the kill solo. This is going to be Piglet trying to kite away. He will be able to do so. Gets himself out. Double if takes down a special and the roam over to the side of the map. Are off, which they have done so with that kill. They should be Gotta all worry right. About Dominate. Dominate could get himself in. They actually go for Phoenix right away, making sure they get a bit of the DPS out of the fight. Piglet gets grabbed right away. Baron is now left by himself. Smithy actually goes back to the pit, gets taken down by Phoenix and Baron. And Pole Belter is now going to be the one to get hit up. CLG stretching themselves a little too thin with this chance. A good howling gale to keep Aframu alive, but he's only going to be able to heal. Baron is going down overwhelmed by the power of I will dominate right now in this matchup. The spear pushes Pobelter back, gives them a little bit of free time. They don't have very much Baron left, but that's a hook! Whoa, double lift is the first one out with what got bumped around and how that fight happened. He goes down 33 minutes and Team Liquid is on the second inhibitor turret of our third tiebreaker game and they will take it down 16 to 9 as they exit the base to look, a re look for a repeat in the bottom lane with Baron being down control the game was again in the chaos they're that's created in pick lane swabs with the chaos that's created when somebody enters their jungle and smithy got to be careful you're all in when you hit goodbye. that nautilus anchor toss goodbye and good day sir he goes down zion spartan in a bad spot right now there's one of the zanyas being used remember dominate still has his to really thwart an attempt that could take him down but they are just pummeling down the clg hp bars right now and they will finalize even maybe this last one to yeah. go for the Nexus it turrets. It could be the game. It's two waves of super minions arriving at just 35 the right seconds. Time. Only two people on CLG alive. I don't think they can clear these waves fast enough, Riv. What ridiculous tiebreaker game, especially one for Team Liquid to come out strong here. They had such a long game previously that took them to the brink of being worn out, but it did not stop them. It did not empty the tank. CLG pushed back on the fountain. The rest of the members are just spawning, but the final damage is being done. And Team Liquid will take down Connor Logic Gaming for top spot in the NALCS Summer Split regular season. And it's fitting that I will dominate on the 10, 1, and 8 in Italy. Got the 50 gold for last hitting the Nexus.